Hey guys, welcome to another lesson here at THSS Technology. It's going to be a really quick lesson today. We're going to expand on the Boolean episode that Mr. Bigger did a few weeks ago, and we're going to focus this around corridor creation for game design in Unity. So let's get started. I'm going to start by switching this over to the Cycles Render Engine, as always. Let's switch that device to GPU, and I'm going to press A to select all, and I'm going to delete everything in my scene. I'm actually going to bring up my screencast commands over there on the right hand side. Okay, so we got a nice clean plate to work with. So let's uh, press Shift A for our add menu and let's create a cube. And let's scale it on the similar proportions as we did in my last lesson. So I can hit N to bring up the side panel. And over on scale, we're going to make it 7, 2, and 2. And once again, this is just a size I found that works quite well for uh, corridor creation inside of Unity. Okay. Next, uh, let's go into edit mode, face select mode, and uh, let's get rid of this face here and here. Excellent. So we have a corridor there, but as we learned last time, uh, this corridor would not uh, work too well inside of Unity uh, due to the normals being backwards. So let's over here on the right hand side with our panel over here, let's turn on back face culling so we can see what the object will look like inside of Unity, and that is no good. So we're going to press A to select all of our uh, faces there. Make sure you're in edit mode. Then we're going to go to mesh, normals, flip normals. Excellent. As you can see there now, we have a quarter that you would be able to run around in inside of Unity. OK, next, I'm going to press tab to go back to object mode. Make sure we're deselected with A. And uh, let's just turn off back face culling there for a second so we can work a little bit easier here. I'm going to select my object and I'm going to duplicate it. And that's right up here in the top under the edit mode. We're going to hit duplicate and we're going to create a copy of that corridor. And I'm actually going to put the location back to 0, 0, and 0. And then I'm going to raise it up to the same floor plane and kind of move it off to the left there. So what I want to do here with this corridor is I actually want to make like a T intersection here. And you can make an L intersection and only have it go in one way, but I'm going to have an intersection that's going to go right through this object. So I'm going to rotate the Z by 90 degrees, and then I'm going to slide it kind of wherever you'd want the intersection to be. You could have a dead center, you know, kind of have it off to the end, uh, we'll, but we'll make ours kind of center-ish. Let's go to the top view. Looks pretty good. Okay, excellent. Now. Uh, if you've never done the Boolean command before, I recommend watching Mr. Bigger's video on Booleans inside of Blender. So I'm going to go a little bit quicker here, but you're going to start by selecting your main corridor. This is the one you're wanting to modify. And then we're going to go over to the Modifiers tab over here on the right-hand option panel. And we're going to add a modifier. And we're going to add a Boolean right there, Boolean. It's very similar to the Shape Builder tool or the Pathfinder tool inside of uh, Illustrator. Uh, okay, and what do I want to do? I want to do the difference of my other cube. And then I click apply, take this, slide it out. And as you can see, we now have a space inside of our corridor that you could then fit other corridors inside. Right, so if you were in your video game, walking around, you'd be able to head inside this corridor and then make a corner down here. Excellent. Looks good. Okay, and then you can go through and you can, uh, you know, add your textures as you normally would. Uh, one thing you're going to notice, however, when you do this, actually, let's just get rid of this other one here. Don't need that anymore. Uh, when you go into edit mode, you're going to see sometimes the Boolean action, you get all these little errant lines here. You can always just go to the edge selection tool there, grab those edges, and uh, delete those edges if you like. And then you go back to face selection mode and you'll still have your nice faces as you normally would. And then you could just unwrap these and do all of the usual. Okay, hope that was helpful and we will see you all later.